gradient and intercept. Now, what we're going to do is we're not going to talk about y-intercept in this particular video. We're just going to talk about gradient, only because gradient is quite challenging to solve and y-intercept is usually quite, quite easy. Okay, so we'll start by calculating the gradient of these two lines I've given you, and to start with, we'll we'll draw draw two little dots, uh, one at the start and one at the end of the line. Okay, we'll do it for both of them. And when you find gradient, it really helps if you can construct a right-angled triangle. You might want to just do it with dotted lines, like so. There's our right angle triangle. It doesn't have to be under the triangle, it could be above the triangle. It doesn't really matter where you put it. As long as you make a right angle triangle, you'll get the same solution no matter where you, you, you construct it. Okay, and, and you'll, you'll, see, you'll see that later on. Once you've got your triangle, you then find what's called your rise, how high up it is, and you find the run, how far along it is. Okay, so you do it by counting squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a rise of six and a run of one, two, three. And then we go, all right, so our gradient, the symbol of which is M, is rise over run. Rise over run. Okay, and in this case it was six over three, and six divided three can be simplified to two. So this line has a gradient m of 2. All right, now let's look at the other one. We've got a rise of 1, 2, 3, and a run of 1, 2. So if we want to calculate the gradient of that, we're going to go rise over run, which is 3 over 2. And this time, 3 over 2 doesn't really simplify, and it's perfectly fine to just leave it like that. Leave it as a fraction. All right, now we've got to talk about what are called positive gradients and what are called negative gradients. And the best example, I think, is what's called the running man. And the running man runs from left to right. So if this man was on the left side of the line and he ran to the right, he would be running uphill. And uphill means positive. On this line, if the running man was running to the right, he would be running downhill. And downhill means negative. So, yes, we've calculated the gradient of these two triangles, but one of them is positive and one of them is negative. And you can see that with your running man. On this particular triangle, it's positive. He's running uphill. On this particular triangle, it's negative because he's running downhill. So we need to change the gradient of the downhill slope from 3 over 2 to just put a negative in the front, just to say that it's a negative gradient. 